there guys, good morning. And it is Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com. Now I was supposed to put out a video on yesterday, but um, had some other things that kind of came up, so I couldn't get around to it. But I am here with a quick video and I wanted to talk about something that um, I see so, 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 so much in the world of publishing, specifically with low content books on Amazon KDP. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, I'd love for you to like, share, subscribe, comment. I'm gonna make this video pretty quick, but um, I'd love for you to like, share, subscribe, comment. Also, if you're interested in getting started with building out your low content book empire, and uh, you want a more strategic approach to publishing um, low content books, you can head over to check out my course from Publish to Profit. And then also I have some freebies as well. I have a free masterclass. It takes you through the seven step framework that I use for publishing low content books that makes me over 1K per month. And then also I have a free swipe file that you can download as well. That swipe file is gonna have over 200, that's right, <laughs> low content book niche ideas um, that you can definitely look into publishing. So all of that is going to be in the link below, but let's go ahead and get off into this video really, really, really quickly. So listen, I get a lot of people that email me, that message me, that are wanting to get into the world of uh, publishing low content books and things. And, um, you know, they're you know, sending me screenshots sometimes and asking for just a quick little overview of of, uh, you know, what I think they could do to improve or, you know, what I think they can do to help them get more sales. And I can tell you without a doubt, the number one reason and the number one thing that I see that people are doing with low content books that I believe is definitely not helping with making sales is not having a strong book cover design that is correct i know there's a other list uh, another list and i have some videos that talk about this but is this is the number one thing that i see across the board is bad book cover designs and i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i have had and i think i've talked about this in several videos but i have definitely had uh, times where I, I put a lot of you know effort and things into a book into a book into the interior making it really really good and just did all this work and was just so proud and um, put the book out there and it just didn't do anything it didn't do anything and I'm just sitting here like hmm what in the heck is going on so um, one book specifically, it was a specific type of prompted journal that I created. I, I mean, again, I put a lot of work into it, put it out there, didn't do anything. So I said, mm, maybe it's something with the cover that's not connecting. So me being the um, kind of following along this troubleshooting process whenever I'm launching a book and putting a book out there to the world, I decided to say, okay, you know what? Something about this book is not connecting with this audience. So let me go and create two different variations for the book cover to see which one of them converts the best. So I actually had to go and hire someone to have them redo the book cover for me and I put it back out there to see what was going to happen. And what do you know? My click-through rate with my ads went up almost immediately. The sales <laughs> started to come in immediately. So that was confirmation to me that my book cover design was not connecting with my intended audience. And so that's what I wanted to just really, really hone in and drive into you guys today is that you have to think about it. There are so many other books and things out there on Amazon, um, specifically for KDP. And um, if your book cover is not stopping someone in their tracks to make them look at it, to make them pause, to wanna click through, all of that kinds of stuff, then you're gonna struggle. You're really going to struggle with sales. And this again is one of the things that I see a lot with people that are saying, I'm not having any success or my books are just not selling. So I just wanted to talk about that and talk about the importance of good book cover design. Like it, you, you have to 
have a strong cover to stand out. There's too many people on here to just kind of throw something together, um, you know, and, and just expect all these sales, expect all of these sales to come running in and flooding through. If you are struggling and, or maybe you have a book cover that maybe you think is okay, but you're noticing that you're really not making the sales and things like that. Um, what I wanted to do is just give you a list of three things that you can do to try to fix that problem and hopefully start seeing some sales of your books. Okay. So, um, number one is have someone that you don't know, take a look at your books design and provide feedback and what i would do is i wouldn't tell them that it's mine i would just say oh hey it's a friends i'm helping them um they're wanting to publish you know blah 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 blah, blah journals whatever and i just wanted to help them with you know getting them out there can you you know let me know what do you think about the, this cover and you will get some unbiased feedback and what i would say is you know don't don't try not to get offended but just take it as okay this is honest feedback especially if it doesn't come back in you know the way that you think that it would you know but just take it as okay this is honest feedback let me figure out how i can take this feedback for this book cover and go and make improvements to it okay so i just want to say that but definitely have someone give you an unbiased look at your cover and let you know what they think have a child look at it Children are truth tellers. They're going to tell you the truth. <laughs> They're going to be like, mm -mm, I don't like it. <laughs> they will tell you the truth. So have a kid look at it. <laughs> They'll tell you, I don't like it. I I'm not feeling it. So again, just have someone with an unbiased opinion. Take a look at your book cover and take notes of things that you can improve. Number two, get your books. If you're not a designer, get your books professionally designed. Now there is a guy, I mentioned him several times, but I do, he is really, really good. I'm just saying it. I um, mean, he's over on Fiverr. He's pretty affordable. So um, I'm going to put a link below to him um, so that for those of you that feel like, you know what, I know that I can improve my book cover. I know it's not really doing a great job and I'm not really making any sales. Let me try to switch things up and see if this is going to help i will put his link below um to use for, for you guys to go and check him out but he's done covers for me and um they are books that do sell so i know that he is legit and um he can you know hopefully help steer you in the right direction and get you something out there that's going to be visually appealing to the audience that you're trying to attract and then number three is to test multiple cover designs to see which one performs the best here again I had to do this for one of my books because I, I just couldn't figure out what the heck was going on with it. And I've heard multiple people say that, like, hey, I had to test different designs until I found something that works. So it may come to that point where you actually have to test a design to see which one works the best. Now, I would just start off at around two. So I would do, you know, two designs, you know, put one in there, see how it performs. If it doesn't do well, if you see that it's not making you sales, then Go back to the drawing board, get another one designed and see how that one that one works. So in this business, um, you're going to learn with everything that you do that it really is all about testing. But I just wanted to pop in and just give you guys this information today to talk about the importance of having a visually appealing book cover. So just wanted to leave you with leave you guys with that information today. Um, please, please, please stay safe out there. I know I'm publishing on a Friday is really weird, but I hope that you guys enjoy this little tidbit of information. And maybe I'll do a series of, you know, you know, the number one reason or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> or the number two reason, something like that. So maybe I'll make this into a little little mini series and break down each point. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe again. Also, um, if you haven't, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys on next week. Bye.